All right, let's see if we can go up this area. <laughs> oh, no, he, no problem. guys uh we're at lighter creek today outside was a little bit windy and it's kind of noisy with all the shooting we're near the shooting range right now but uh yeah so we're gonna try to do this uh trail cold water canyon and a couple other in the area the offshoots in there see how far my uh, two-wheel drive will make it we have at least two or three more two-wheel drive i think we have like six or seven brakes all together uh, a couple tacoma a couple chevy a couple jeeps so it should be fun been here once but uh, it was just too icy to continue, so I kind of stopped. But um, so I kind of have an idea of what to expect in this area. But uh, other than that, it should be a cool trail. We'll see if I can make it all the way to Coldwater Canyon on a two wheel drive. All right, we'll meet up with the group right now. guys on the trail we have 11 rakes <laughs> that's a pretty I think that's the biggest group we have um, we have so many uh, Toyotas three or four Tacomas a couple of two-wheel drive a couple of Rams 4 one and 50 uh, full-size Ram ZR2 Sequoia um, yeah should be fun well, hopefully uh, we can uh, make it all the way through Coldwater Canyon, but uh, yeah, that's the biggest group we have so far. It should be fun. All right, let's check out this trail again. This is first of many rigs. See all there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven rigs all together. So it's kind of fun. A little windy today, but it's nice to be in the shade. It's probably in the 60 right now. But uh, yeah, it's cool.
I just finished taking a bunch of photos and a couple of drone shots here. Uh, we're gonna head out to Cold Water Canyon, see how far we can make with two-wheel drive. But there's like 13 rigs, so it's so hard to get everybody, um, you know, at the same time. But uh, now it's fun to see everybody out here and maybe we'll have some really cool rigs and having a good time. So we'll see how far we get, but we did get some cool drone shots, even though it's kind of windy. All right, let's uh, check out Cold Water Canyon. his camera. Sliders. Keep that line, yeah, yeah. There it is, yeah. Straight, straight out. There you go. You, you clear that rock in the front, so. There you go, there you go. You're all good. You're good. Alright, go driver, go driver, go driver. Alright. Yeah. Woo! Oh, you got it, Omar. There you go. Woo. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> See if we can go up this area. <laughs> it's hard to see, but I did clear all this area by myself with no help needed. That's pretty gnarly. But uh, I right, time to continue on. Uh, I'm getting pulled out again up this deep section. It's very rocky and a lot of loose dirt. So it's hard to get oh traction. God. Good. I think this is the hardest trail I've done because um, it's all the rocky incline. It's hard to see, but. 
two-wheel drive makes it really hard because you need momentum and there's not a lot of room here to pull out, especially when you have other people up there and other people coming down and it's super rocky. So any momentum you have to go up, you kind of lose it when other people are stopping. So I think that's the hard part and also obviously the rocky section here makes it really complicated. You almost have to send it without anyone around so you can get that proper momentum to go all the way up, but almost done. All right, we made it here, campsite. Uh, definitely need a pool, bunch of section. But uh, yeah, this is it. We made it all the way to the end. Obviously, um, not by myself and two-wheel drive. No locker, not gonna make it, but it's nice to get in a pool, it was fun. This is cool. Campground here. We'll see how, how it is going down. <laughs> Should be easy. It's just going down, but I just take my time because it's super rutted. All right. It's super rocky. Some big boulders. Uh, I man, I'm kind of was stressing out a little bit going down by myself with all the rocks. So uh, yeah, it's definitely uh, not too real drive friendly, even with clearance, tires, and everything. Um, so I definitely recommend going somebody. Uh, but I would definitely sit out this section next time because. Uh, my steps was hitting a bunch of rock and my rear diff was scraping a little bit um, but I don't think anything is too serious but I think we cleared that rocky section towards the end I think it was like 0.5 or 0.4 miles to the actual trail ends and that's where it's like super steep and rocky so two-wheel drive is uh, definitely not recommended in that section but you can drive pretty far with it and you pass the creek and the water crossing and there's uh you can go all the way to yeah that section but going up that section for two-wheel drive is just too complicated making me nervous going down by myself right now uh but there's guys on the trail it just no one's spotting me so i don't know where my wheels my tires or the placement of the tires are and how deep the ruts are but uh, I think we're almost at the water crossing and from there it should be easy, the extra trail. Alright, let's continue because it's 6.30, I'm getting super hungry. Alright guys, uh, that will be it for this trail. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you guys like this kind of content, uh, feel free to subscribe, hit that like, and comment below what you like about, uh, or if you have any questions regarding the trail. Uh, I'll try to give you as much information I can regarding Lido Creek and uh, Coldwater Canyon. But um, yeah, other than that, I, I did know uh, one guy that made it up there, two-wheel drive, but he did have a locker in his Tacoma. So I'm sure a locker does help, but I think it's just complicated going down. Uh, uh, a lot of people going down while we're going up, and that made it really hard. You have to stop and you just lose momentum. But uh, yeah, it's, it's just a cool area to explore. All right, well, it's, it's almost 8 o'clock, and uh, yeah, I gotta get some dinner. <laughs> All right, catch you guys on the next one. All right, take care. Bye.